Alright, so look at how y'all, man. We just got back from the store. I would have recorded it, but I was trying to get in and out. You know what I'm saying? That's dope. You got you to gotta get what you need in there and get up out of there. So, anyway, <clears throat> I done already started taking. I took all the trim off. You know what I'm saying? As you can see, I took all the trim off. So now I'm about to get to it, man. You know what I'm saying? It's a process, man. So you know, I got the gloves. I should have everything I need right here, hopefully, <clears throat> to get to it. We're going to see what it do, man. First thing I'm going to do, right, I got these little filers, man. These, you know what I'm saying? They definitely good for this wood, man. So what I'm going to do on, the, on this first, I'm going to take it in, and I'm going to... Uh, I'm gonna get all this deburred, all the wood, excess wood off of it. I'm gonna try to fit this first before I start painting it and all that. I'm gonna try to fit it first. So let's get down to it. Let's take all the excess wood off out of here and get to it, man. All right, it's just a little process doing this stuff, man. But it, to me, you know what I'm saying? It's fun. It's like, man, challenging. You know what I'm Plus, I, I like doing this type of stuff. This is the type of stuff that my uh, my grandfather would have liked doing. He would have sat there with me. He would have built. We would have built a whole gun for real. We just all we doing is just taking all this excess wood off of here, man. So we trying to we trying to make sure we can fit this in there. Real smooth, man. Right, man, what you what you want to shoot muzzle loaders for, man? You got all them other guns. Why you want to shoot muzzle loaders? It's just like guns are guns, man. Guns are guns. Shoot this the knife. <laughs> Might shoot this the knife. Like this, this takes like patience, like for real. Fourth quarter. Fourth quarter. I'll put that on my carpet. Then I gotta vacuum it and all that. I probably still gonna have to. I ain't got my tape. I ain't got my table, y'all. My table, I left it in my van. In my van, I don't have it. It's getting in the shop right now. So it is what it is. I could use my another table or something, but man, I ain't about to do all that. We're gonna be right here on the floor. The floor, the floor is my workshop today. I'm almost there, y'all. Almost there. Almost there. Whoo. Alright. So, you know, <clears throat> as you can see, I got her all cleaned up, you know, as best as I can get it cleaned up with the filer. So we're gonna try to we're gonna try to mount this stuff in there and see what and see what we got, man. We're gonna take the hammer and we're gonna try to push the hammer in there first. It's going to flush on this one side right here, but it's not going to flush on that side. So, I'm going to take it out. And I'm going to try to put it in from this side and see what we get. <clears throat> take it ahead on this side. All right. So, we got some difficulties over there. All right, so as you can see right now, we can't get this out. We can't get this in there. We can't get the hammer in there. So we're gonna have to file something down. All right, so look, I saved it down real, real, real good with the file. So let's see if we can get everything to dry fit before we start staining stuff, all right? 
So here we go. We're gonna get the hammer to go in here first. Let's see. Ooh. Ooh. That thing went in there flush. Look at that. That thing went in there flush. I like that, see? I like stuff like that, man. All right, so we're gonna get the trigger. Trigger already, I ain't had no problem with the trigger anyway. The trigger went in there good anyway. So, trigger went in there smooth. All right. Now we're gonna get this, slap this on there real quick. This thing like Legos, man. All right, bet. So, what we gonna do now is, we got our we got our rings to go inside here to hold them in. I had to say we got we had to save those down too to get these to fit. So we're gonna push these in there as well. And these rings, they just kind of just like support the screws. So when you screw them in there, alright. You know, you got two of them. So you gotta put both of them in. And they got like a little groove, so you know which way to put them in. Side. All right, and that, them things just go up in there like that. Screw in, screw in there. All right. So then you got this one that goes down here, and this one screws into your trigger guard. So you know you gotta hold, hold close on the trigger guard so it won't screw in there. Everything line, everything line up real good, man. And look on the, I ain't even screwed all the way down. So this thing, this thing, I hammer, hammer cock and the trigger, so it, it works. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. And we just wanted to dry fit this for right now. You know what I'm saying? Uh, dry fitting this is the most important part. Everything else should should just button up, fit right up in there. I mean, we could try to burrow, but man, that thing should fit right up in there. So we're going to get back with y'all. All right, man, it's getting hot up in this, this room, man. All right, man, look, so I did went here to fit the barrel on there. And I'm going to tell you, I'm glad that I did that because this thing was, it was hassle getting it on there, man. So I'm going to show you, I'm going to show y'all what I did. I'm gonna take it all. So I had to uh I had to knock this in there. So basically, man, I had to take these files and I had to get up in the grooves, man, and foul it and foul and foul and foul. Even this right here, I had to foul this just to get it, just to get it to latch on. You know what I'm saying? So and it doesn't even latch on all the way, like I mean, it latch on all the way, don't get it twisted. It just don't latch on, like, smooth. So, you still gotta, you know, wiggle. You see, I had to wiggle it to get it to latch. And I'm kind of cool with that because that lets me know it's in there really tight. I like that. So, it's all snug on there. Everything snug on there. You know, I got to, now what I'm going to do now is work on this trigger guard. So I have to take a little bit of this down to get that trigger guard to fit. Basically, where is your trigger guard? Let's see. So this trigger guard here. Let's see. Woo. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. So to get it to fit, you see it's off like a little hair. So I want it to be up in this snub nose, you know what I mean? That thing gonna look, that thing gonna look real good up in there. So that's what I'm about to work on now, man. You know what I'm saying? So we got let's get to it. <clears throat> get to it, get to it. Get to it. Let me get to it. Finished. I put everything on there already. I just, uh, you know, everything fits snub. You know what I'm saying? So now it's time to go to the, to the, uh, sanding the thing down and getting it right, man. I'm, 
you know, what we're gonna do first, we're gonna polish, we're gonna polish this up. You know, uh, and this thing right here ain't gonna be, we ain't really gonna have to sand this for so much, y'all. Uh, so we're gonna get the sanding this stuff down. We're gonna polish this up. You know, and then uh we'll get back to you, man. It's a process, man. This could take the longest. Hey man, this 762 by Kenya, man. Get him out of there, man. Alright. So you know what we y'all already know we working on a um a muzzle loader, man. We uh we building it from scratch. All me, I ain't let nobody touch this gun. The only person touching this gun is me. I built this one right here at the top. This is a Hawkins Woodsman. That's what it is. Yeah, a Hawkins Woodsman muzzle loader, 50 cal, man. This thing is sweet, man. It was cool putting this together. It was a little challenging, man. I ran across a lot, a lot of little obstacle, obstacles, you know, so uh, with it, you know what I'm saying? So they do give you everything you need to know. They got videos on YouTube. I mean, so you you can get it done, you know what I'm saying? This is like Dunsmith and 101, yeah, you feel me? All right, so I'm going to show y'all, before I show y'all the gun, I'm going to show y'all a couple things that I used. Uh, before I show a couple things, though, look, we got two screws, y'all. Out of the whole kit, we got two screws we ain't put in yet. I'm going to put them in. I just, I'm going to tell y'all why when I bring the gun out. I'm going to explain that to you why I didn't put them in. But two screws out the whole kit, I think that's pretty cool, you know? Usually when people got extra screws, they're like, oh, that was just extras in case you need them. There ain't never said no such thing as really, uh, that's the Chinese. I got some stencils, we're gonna talk about that. So I got the wool, the wool pad. That's a lot of, a lot of scrub, scrubbing. Got the aluminum polish, you know what I'm saying? Had to bring, a, had to bring it back. You know, I got the Neville doll. Um, so the stain that the stain that I went with, yeah, I went with a black cherry stain, man. I got this from Walmart. Actually, I caught this in the clearance. They had this in the clearance section at Walmart for like three dollars. <laughs> I picked that up out the clearance section. A whole time, both of these was in the clearance section. Like this was in the clearance section for six dollars, uh, and this was the clear that I used too. This clear is pretty cool. I'm, I'm definitely glad I bought this because I'm gonna use a lot more. Of this this clear is really cool, really good. Um, I tried to do some other little stuff in the wood. I had got some metallic green. My daughter picked this color out, y'all. I didn't really like it, but I got a little bit on it, on the gun. Uh, we got some gold, you know, so we can put some gold in there. And of course, you know, you need some sandpaper. We went with a uh, 180 grit, you know, 180 grit sandpaper sand the wood down to perfection you know so we got that thing right man I um like I say um I'm kind of like shocked that it came out the way it did I ain't gonna lie to you it's way outside of what I thought it would have came out with this is kind of like when I first got it at the pawn shop when I seen the deal it's like a tool it look like it's for kids you know what I mean like you like this some kid stuff right here <laughs> but when you when you put it together, you know, it, it, it's way, hey, grown man, kids, it don't matter who you is, you you will enjoy putting it together, man. It's really fun. I think everybody should just, you know, get it to put it together. One thing I like about this uh, gun too, you can um just, this uh, muzzle loader, you could just order it online and um, they ship it right to your house. You don't need to do a background check, none of that. You know, of course I did a background check for it because I bought it from the store, but and they got it registered in the store, but if I didn't buy it from the store, I could have ordered it online and it would came straight to my house with no red tape. No <laughs> All right, so man, here it goes, man. Let's, let me show y'all what I'm working with, all right? Come on out the cut. Let me show y'all what I'm working with, man. Show y'all the woods, man. Whew. Hey, this thing is, let me let me undress it for y'all. Let me undress it for y'all. Whoo! This thing is a cold piece. Whoo! Can y'all believe I did that? All right, y'all, so this is my Woodsman, man. This is my uh, St. Louis Hawkins Woodsman. Chambered in 50 cal muzzle loader, man. 
What y'all think about it, man? Ooh, she look good. Hey, little gunsmith and up in here. All right, so man, look, I'm gonna uh, let me talk to y'all about the gun a little bit. All right, so I went with the cherry wood, cherry wood. I mean, the thing came out nice, like the way the swirls, the way the swirls and everything came out in this gun. Like it came out really, really, really nice. Like I really, I really like the way I did the wood on it. It really came out really good. Now I don't know if y'all can see it, but I told you I tried to put green in there so you can see like a couple of little green. That's my little candy, candy apple spots. You know what I'm saying? I got a couple of little candy apple spots in there, which is pretty cool if you looking, looking at the gun. You be like, man, that's pretty. The detail is pretty nice right there. Um, with the gold paint that we had. I put a little bit of gold. I didn't want to put a lot of gold. I wanted to have chrome and gold. So I put uh, the gold and the lettering. I did it on both sides. I don't know if y'all can see it or not. But um, put the, we put a little bit of gold in the lettering. I think that gave it a little, a little spice to it, you know. So earlier what I was telling y'all with, I had two screws that was missing. All right, so this is the uh, cap right here that goes on here. It's two screws that go down in there. So when I'm screwing them, they're going down halfway and they really, really tight to screw. And I don't want to crack the stock. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get my drill and I'm going to drill pre-holes and then I'm going to screw those screws down in there. So I'll do that later. It's not a big deal. We got our ram rod here. Our ram rod comes out, you know, you can stuff this, this way you can stuff the musk. The muskets in there, you know, got a ram rod in there. It's pretty cool, man. Uh, little things everybody talk about when it comes to this gun is they got plastic iron sights on here. Uh, really not even too much, you know, worried about that. I mean, a lot of people complain about the plastic. Um, I'm really not worried about it, you know, but I don't like them, but it's all good. I, I think it get it makes the gun a little lighter. <laughs> That's probably what they was going for. It's like, but uh, you got your hammer right here. You got your hammer cock right here. Man, that thing is pretty sweet. So you got your trigger. You got your trigger groove. Now, when it came to putting this in, this was like one of the most challenging things I had to deal with because you have to make you had to make this bigger to even get this to fit. It would not fit. So um, I wish I would have had videos on like all the stuff I went through, complications, but man, people, my phone was acting up and the recording, I couldn't, I ain't had no storage. So there's a lot of reasons why I could not get the footage to y'all. But at least, you know, I got a little bit of before and the after is what really matters, you know? Um, I really like the gold, like the gold bronze, kind of like gold look with that chrome. I mean, it just, it matches it all blends in this is a like this looks like a, a expensive gun well now that you see it now if i put this back on the shelf up there at the store i don't know you might can get about you can get some money for this man yeah somebody will buy this i, I probably will myself i really i really liked it it was really fun putting this together and it's some stuff that i do again you know so we're gonna stay tuned for the next video man because the next video we're gonna go out there you know and we, we're gonna mess with the 48 guys and we're gonna they're gonna show us how to stuff it for real like you know this one is a little different than the one we shot at the uh scrimmage this one is um this is not this that's like an old old school muzzle loader this one is a little different this is um so we'll explain all that once i learn it you know i'm still getting in tune with this stuff i always wanted to shoot muzzle loaders musket guns it's just something about them like i always wanted to shoot them so i finally got one now and you know i made it you know uh put it together and this one's gonna have some value in it for me you know i'm a, uh i want to next thing i want to do to this i want to get some put some rails here like so i can put a sling on it i, I really want to um I really want to have a sling for this. This needs a sling because, like I say, I'm not going to sit this thing on the wall. And it's not for decorations. This thing is going to get played with. I'm going to shoot it. every Man, I might shoot it every time I go to the range. It's not, it, it, it's really like a, like a mental thing. You know, you, you got to 
put everything in there, put the powder in there, put the uh, core in there, put the ball in there. You got stuff it. It's mental. You know what I'm saying? It's like, I don't know how to explain it, but if you end up like guns, everything is, is always a reason. You know, so all guns have a different reaction. Like when you shoot this gun, it feels this way. When you shoot that gun, it feels that way. So every gun is going to bring something else out of out of a person, you know, well, out of me. And I can't wait to see what this gun right here going to bring out of me. <laughs> I just think it is cool. I really like this, man. So, 762 by KO, man. Get them out of there, man. I hope y'all enjoy, you know, I, uh, our first put together, man, with the muzzle loader, man. You know what I'm saying? We're gonna show y'all how we gonna get, how we gonna shoot this too, man. I can't wait. I might go shoot it today, you know. And another thing, this thing, it did not take me that long really to do it. I'm not gonna lie to you, like that's because when I get on stuff, I get it done, like. So this part took me like two days, and the only reason it took me two days because I wanted to let the I want to let it, the wood, the uh, clear coat dry. So I took a whole, I let it dry for that whole day. And then I got on, I got on the prior like finished it last night, actually. Um, another thing I wanted to ask y'all, what y'all think about this, man? Give me some, give me some feedback, man. Give me some feedback. What y'all think about me? I, I, bought, I got some stencils out. I'm thinking I should get them smaller, but let me know. I want to put, you know, I want to put my stamp on here with the stencil. So I'm going to put 762 by KM, get them out of there, something on here, you know, stick it out. I don't, it don't matter. But I want to put my stamp on this, man, you know. Um, let me know what y'all think. Should I get smaller? Should I go with smaller stencils or should I just leave it alone? <laughs> it don't matter because it's, I put it together and it's all, and it's sweet. So, you know. This 762 by KM, man. Get them out of there, man. I hope y'all enjoy uh, me putting my muzzle loader together, man. St. Louis Hawkins Woodsman, man. This thing is sweet. 50 cal muzzle loader. <laughs>